Well, the body of murder victim Karen LeClaire will finally be laid to rest more than three months after she disappeared. Krista Nielsen has our report. My sister Karen is now finally back home with us. We will be laying her to rest on Tuesday. 51-year-old Karen LeClaire of Albion was reported missing on Sunday, June 11th of this year. I was contacted by the Pennsylvania State Police as next of kin and informed that it was my sister that was missing. And then the ongoing search for her body was very trying. That search continued for more than three weeks. It was very, very troubling and emotional time. Then on July 4th, her body was found in Lake Erie near Dunkirk, New York. She had suffered a fatal gunshot wound and her limbs were reportedly bound with blue rope similar to that used on the couple's commercial fishing boat. From the beginning, her husband Christopher LeClaire had trouble sticking to his story. Now he is charged with the murder of his wife Karen and his father is also being charged with helping to dispose of evidence related to the murder. When it involved a boat and a female person overboard, I had some strong feelings and they were confirmed on July the 4th. Members of LeClaire's family say that one bright spot in all this turmoil is the outpouring of community support. Most of all, the prayers and uh, support from the Erie area has been overwhelming and very, very helpful. She will be laid to rest on our mother's grave. Krista Nielsen, JET 24 Action News. Dan Etter, funeral home in Girard, is handling the arrangements. A memorial service for Karen LeClaire will be held Tuesday at 11 a.m. at the Federated Church in East Springfield. Funeral services immediately following.